Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Amina. I come up with the project ideas that you see on this channel and in our home, and my husband Bernard brings them all to life. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. We have finally started working on our understairs storage. It is a project that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I'm so excited to get started and to share the process with you guys. As you can see, we already have storage underneath our stairs, but it is not being utilized to its full potential. So with this project, we're gonna make it a lot more functional, more practical, and easily accessible. Once we cleared a pathway, Bernard was able to better assess the space we're working with. He started by removing the drywall on this side of the underspace storage. Once that was all cleared away, we then saw there was some wiring running through the space, so that would need to be taken care of. Also, we found two studs that were definitely in the way of the vision that I had, and so we did first make sure that they were not structural, meaning they were not going to affect the stability or the structure of our stairs. Once we determined that, he then removed those two by four so we'd have maximum space for the scope of the project that we have. Next, Bernard built a base structure using two by fours and he secured that to the baseboard underneath our stairs. Next it was time to cut the drywall on the other side. Now based on the depth of our stairs, we use that measurement to determine the maximum height that we can go for the understair storage that we're working on. Bernard is using an oscillating multi-tool which did a really good job of cutting the drywall. Now since this project is happening inside our house, we do try to minimize dust as much as possible and so I was just right there with the shop vac collecting as much of the dust as possible and it actually did a pretty good job. Next it was time to cut the second storage unit and here we're using a laser level as well as a digital level to help us get that angle that we need the box to be at. With the two openings cut out and all the electrical work taken care of, it was now time to build the storage boxes for these two spaces. For the storage boxes, we are using three quarter inch plywood Specifically, these are pine plywood and we buy them in the 4x8 sheets and you can get them for just under $50 at Home Depot. We started working on the smaller storage unit first, which was actually pretty challenging because there were several 38 degree angle cuts that had to be made and we tried to pay close attention to making sure we're cutting them on the right sides so that once they're all secured, they would be as they should. We do a lot of dry fitting with our projects and I'm so glad we did because it turned out that one of the 30 degree angles that we cut on one of the wood was actually on the wrong side. So dry fitting is always the way to go. Once the new 30 degree angle wood was cut, it was then time to assemble the first box and we're assembling it using a combination of glue and screws.
we did one more dry fitting before installing the back of this storage box. Bernard also built and secured a base frame for this box as well. The next mistake we made was miscalculating the dimension for the back of this storage box and so we did have to repeat that one. can't begin to tell you guys just how proud we felt once we got this first box in it looked exactly as we had envisioned and it just gave us that confidence to keep going and work on the larger box unlike the first storage box with its many angles this one was a lot easier, just larger, and we again secured it with glue and screws. So the challenge with the larger box was actually getting it through the opening. Um, it took a lot of finagling, a lot of finesse, but we did eventually get it to fit. real quick of what the space looked like when we first started and look at the progress we have made we're so incredibly proud of the progress we've made so far and i cannot wait to show you guys what else we have planned but you're gonna have to stay tuned thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time